Are you looking for quality math apps without that monthly subscription? They're really difficult to find, but I've got a list for you coming up. Hi, I'm Stacy with Kids Learning for Life, and my last app video was so popular that I decided to make even more app videos just for you. In this video, I'm gonna focus specifically on math apps. All of these apps are free or a one-time cost. What you won't find in this video is anything that requires a monthly subscription. When I was searching for these math apps, I did try to keep in mind that I wanted them to be available on multiple devices. So some of these are going to be available on one device, while others may be available on all. The first app I want to talk about is Teach Me Math Facts. The Teach Me Math Facts app helps grade school students gain fluency in their math facts for subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. This app allows kids to take a quiz, and the goal is to beat the time and get all of the answers correct. If they do that, they earn a gold trophy and they graduate on to the next set of math facts. So if they were working on multiplication times four, then they would get to move on to multiplication times five. The best part I love about this app is that you can choose where your child starts and even which fat math facts you can already check off that they know. So they will only be working on new math facts. The next apps I wanna talk about are all from the Dragon Box company. The first app is Dragon Box Algebra 5 Plus. This app is designed for children five years old and up. And what it does is it teaches your child algebra concepts with pictures. Now, when I started playing this game to figure out how it worked with my kids, it was very confusing until I was able to start relating it to algebra concepts. The whole concept of the game is to get the box card, or X, all by itself on one side of the board. This app is for children between the ages of five and eight but you could even go a little bit higher because I as an adult was enjoying doing it myself. If you have older students, they may wanna start with Algebra 12 plus. This app builds on what was taught in Algebra 5 plus and adds more complex topics. I have not personally tried the Algebra 12 plus app yet because my children are still younger, so we haven't moved on to the Algebra 12 plus. But if the quality is just as good as Algebra 5 Plus, then I definitely think you should try it out if you have older students. The next Dragon Box app is Dragon Box Elements. This app will teach your child the properties, definitions, and relationships of geometric shapes through Euclidean proofs. Yeah, you heard me right, Euclidean proofs. I don't know if any of you had the same relationship with Euclidean proofs as I did, but mine was not all that great. <laughs> proofs were always very hard for me, but so I could understand that being able to introduce your child to these concepts in a fun and engaging way early on will help them have an easier time with these concepts later. This app is recommended for children ages nine and up. The next math app is called Prodigy. Prodigy is created for students in first through eighth grades. Prodigy is a free app and it's also available on the web. Prodigy is where your student can go and create an avatar and even play with friends in this Prodigy world. By doing the Prodigy quests, you have to solve math problems in order to move on to certain levels. Prodigy is free, but it does offer a membership option. The membership is more of a gives you extra perks rather than stopping you from playing at a certain level or anything like that. This is not one that my kids have personally used, but I know that so many students that I've worked with in the elementary schools have been using it and really enjoy it. Our next app is Marble Math Junior. Marble Math Junior is recommended for children ages five to eight years old. Marble Math is a great way to help students with mental math because you have a marble on one of those like tilt boards and you can either use your phone as a tilting option to move it or you can move it with your finger if that's not working well for your child. But you have to move the ball around and solve whatever problem and then it can go into the hole and you go on to the next level. What I like about this app is that it allows you to check off the boxes that you actually want your students to be working on. So for my youngest, I went ahead and just worked on shapes and a few others and that's what they're working on. Well, my older students are working on more complex math, mental math problems. All three of my kids enjoy playing this, and it's something that lets me know that they're at least working on some mental math in the process. My last suggestion is called Jump Numbers, and this is gonna work on your skip counting. 
To play the game, you need to get your character from one side of the river to another. And to do that, you jump on different tiles based on what you're counting by. So if you're counting by ones, you'd go one, two, three, four, and so on. Counting by twos, you'd go two, four, six, eight, and so on and so forth. So skip counting is a great way to help guide students towards learning their multiplication facts while they're still learning to memorize those facts. While I have done a lot of research to get these apps to you guys, if I do find any other math app gems, I'll be adding them to the descriptions. So be sure to check that out to see if I've added any new ones. Do you have any non-subscription math apps that I've missed? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll add them to the description for others to find. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.